Hello, I'm JT Peters. I'm in A3 AP Chemistry and my video tutorial will be about side tools. Uh, first, you get to side tools by pressing apps and on a TI-84 Plus that has the default apps, side tools will be all the way down below period and above side tools Espanol. The first thing I'll teach you to use is the sig fig calculator. The sig fig calculator is pretty self-explanatory. It'll tell you how many significant figures your input values have, such as this input value has six significant figures. Um, it'll also do basic math, such as addition, um, subtraction, multiplication, um, division. Um, the other cool feature is um, Sig fig calculator has is it'll give you all your input values and it'll output um, scientific notation if you press trace which changes this to psi um, so if I input this it'll output that in scientific notation um, the E just stands for 10 to the power that trails it so that'll be 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2 the next feature I'll show you to use is the unit converter. Uh, the unit converter will convert units of all these measurements. Um, we'll start with length. Um, this will show you uh, exact values such as if I put 31 inches is equivalent to 78.74 centimeters. Um, this will not only show you those exact calculations but it will also show you um, uh, conversion rates such as one foot is equivalent to 12 inches. Um, another cool part of this uh, unit converter is it'll uh, show you uh, conversion rates between SI prefixes like um, it'll show you that micro is is one millionth smaller than base. It'll show you that Um, that kilo is a uh, thousand times larger than base. And one other cool thing about this uh, unit converter is it displays many constants that you need to know, such as the first one it, that it displays is Avogadro's constant. It'll show you uh, gravitation, uh, acceleration due to gravity. Um, the mass of electron, uh, protons, and neutrons. Um, it'll, it has a lot of other stuff like Planck's constant is useful. And that, those are the cool things of this feature. Um, the next feature I'll show you to use is the data slash graphs wizard. On um, the data slash graphs wizards, first you input your data by pressing Y equals. I already have some pre-input values um, that you see here. Um, after you input your values, you go back, and this will um, make scatter plots, uh, lines, and histograms. Uh, we'll just make a uh, scatter plot. I'll set my independent variable as my first list, and my dependent variable as my second list. And those are the set of points you see up there. Um, you can uh, have all these regressions. Um, we'll just choose linear regression. And it'll point a uh, line of best fit through there. Um, it'll also uh, analyze data. Such a, I can choose from either of my lists. I'll choose list one. It will show you all these values, like um, the largest uh, x value, the smallest x value, the medium, median x value. Um, those are the important things to know from the data slash graphs wizard. The last thing I'll show you how to use is the vector calculator. Um, the vector calculator you can either enter vectors with xy values or r theta values We'll just make a right uh, right triangle using the XY values. 
Um, here we'll enter a three. Here I'll enter four. And now I'll press graph to do math. Um, pick means I'll pick this vector. And I can either add, subtract, uh, take the dot product or the cross product of these vectors. Here I'll add these vectors and vector 2 which I'll press next and I'll pick this one and here is my resultant vector. Uh, that's how you use the uh, vector calculator.